Before we get this video started, I actually have Ryan here, which is the owner here at Ryan's Pizza Service. As you guys can see, we have some beautiful turbos laid out, teamed up to do a giveaway for you guys. And all you have to do is go to the website, truckmasterdiesel.com. Any one purchase item will get you entered in to win one of these awesome turbos. Power Stroke, Duramax, Cummins, your choice, your options. You work with us and we will help you pick the right turbo and uh, get you taken care of. Awesome, Ryan. Thanks again for working with me and good luck, everybody. I'll leave all that stuff in the description below. Let's get to it. Got some huge news. This body shop, this local body shop, is actually gonna go ahead and take on all the body work on the Victory Max for free. Can you believe it? It's gonna save me a ton of money, seriously, because you guys know that truck right there, we are literally gonna rebuild. We're going to give it life again, okay? The truck is tired, man. And we're gonna give it victory again, so I'm really, really excited about it. So we're gonna go ahead and head on over there right now, and I'll show you the company that I'm going to here in Wisconsin. I'll show you guys their setup, and also I wanna get a take on exactly what they are planning on doing with this truck, so stay tuned. All right, let's head down there. You ready? I'm the conductor number two, according to the dash. Yeah, what is up with that dash? We gotta get that fixed. Yeah, it just did that. It freaked out. I think it was a ground issue. <laughs> so. We've got we've got a lot. Oh, it's dark. Oh, it's very dark. Come on. We've got a lot of work on this truck. If you guys watched the last video, I would basically dove into some of the stuff that we we're planning on doing to it. Oh, I need to get my seatbelt on. Oh, buddy. We're not in Mexico anymore. Uh-uh. No, no Mexico. All right, we're here. What city are we in, or town, or whatever? This is uh, technically Maguanago slash Genesee Depot. All right. These guys really agreed to doing the body work, huh? Yes, they did. That is a big deal. So we'll go inside, get them, and have them come out and take a look at it. All right, let's check it out. What exactly goes on behind those doors? That's one of our three paint booths, and that one will actually bake a finish on for a, for a better quality. Booth can get up to 180 degrees. Most of the time we bake cars right around 140 degrees for about 30 minutes to ensure the finish hardens up properly and can get in and out quickly. Right now she's taking a light, that's a sunlight, and that's the same type of light that the actual sun puts out. So we turn the lights off and the that give it a fake light. And this way we can see if we have any bad blends that the metallic laid out and that everything's gonna be kosher for when she goes to put on clear. Okay, as you guys can see, we brought Victory Max. Actually, that's what we called it, Victory Max, because right. Victory Red, you know? Oh, sure. So we brought Victory Max uh, here at SNS in McGuanago, Wisconsin, right? Is that yep. McGuanago. Obviously, I'm not a local, so uh, bear with it. This is Robert, and he's actually the owner here. And um, I just think it's really cool that there's, you know, company, local companies out there that will actually do this for us. So, and I really appreciate it, man. I mean, so Robert's basically him and his team here are going to do the body work completely for free. Absolutely. Like, it's always good to get back. Uh, my dad started this business back in 77 and started with just this building and then he added on and added on and now we do uh, full frame repairs, collision, custom work, restorations, paint work. Uh, we do a little bit of industrial repair and painting and then we also have a full mechanical center also. What's a good phone number to reach you guys at? 262-968. 3324 and you can also see us on the web at ssautomotive.pro awesome so i think this is your first time actually seeing the truck i don't know i've you know, been in michigan but let's go over it a little bit can sure you tell me what you guys may have in mind here because just off the bat looking at the truck i really i don't know about the the, the well, these are probably shot you probably see some bubbling going yeah. on right here but this hood is actually in really good shape i'm well, I'm first surprised. off, are we keeping it the same color? Yes, sir. All right. So a lot of the panels, like the hood and whatnot, we'll be able just to sand down, use this as our base, and we'll be able to repaint the hood and make that, bring back that shine, luster, and appearance that it once factory had. Um, the fenders, we'll have to get these fender flares off. If it is just a little bit of rust bubbling like we see there, we might be able to sandblast and fix them. Otherwise, we'll be replacing the fenders with some rust-free units. Uh, the doors here. They look pretty decent from the outside minus the dirt, but the thing that we want to look at is on the inside. 
we see all this rust bubbling here. So that, we'll have to get in there, sandblast that out, put a good epoxy on there, and then we'll seam seal this edge, paint it from the inside and out, and a lot of times what we like to do is, we like to do a color matched sprayable bed liner on like the bottom three, four inches of the doors and the rocker panels. It's kind of like the uh, new GM trucks, right? Where they have that texture at the bottom? Kind of, that's a, a chip guard, and that is actually put on underneath the paint. So this bed liner is actually colored to match, so the stones are actually hitting the, uh, the bed liner rather than the clear coat and chipping the clear coat off. So we do that, and then what we do is we put a, uh, a seal out product in here, and we do the whole inside here, and that product will actually creep down into this hem flange and hopefully keep the rust from coming back. And then the uh, rocker panels, these we're gonna cut off, and we'll get some uh, factory style replacements, probably inners, because that's what's left of the inner, and outers. We'll get those welded on, we'll get that all undercoated nicely, we'll put the seam sealer product on the inside there, and then I'd like to do the uh, sprayable bed liner in here also. And the sprayable bed liner is gonna protect it from stone chips here, and it's gonna protect it from here from your feet scuffing. And it's gonna give it a nice overall appearance. No matter how careful you are, you always get at least that one little stone on your shoe that's gonna just mm -hmm. catch it. Yeah, good so. call. And then along with the rocker panels, we would be putting new cab corners on it. Those are pretty well shot. Those will probably do a cut right here, bring it down, body work it so it blends in nicely. And then uh, the box. We're gonna just get a different box. I okay. don't think we're gonna use this one. It's just too shot. Yep. Uh, when we get the new box, we'll flip that upside down first off. We'll make sure all the rails are in good shape and we'll run that undercoating product through all the rails on the underside. And then we'll flip it back over and we'll do the paint to match and maybe even do a spray little bed liner on the inside. Hey, actually, since I have it, you here, what's, what do you think about this tailgate here? It's a little rough. A little rough. Uh, okay, that's a lot of rough. Uh, <laughs> I knew that was gonna happen. <laughs> yeah. The uh, the box is the main culprit there. You can see the hinge plate rotted away. Technical term for that would be trunnion. Uh, the inside of the gate, same as the bottom of the doors. We could definitely sandblast and save this gate. The box, maybe not so much. Yeah. You don't think that'll buff out, eh? <laughs> uh, I'm thinking a good buff job. That'll that'll be just fine. Maybe yeah. call Josh in. There you go. Well, it's good to know. How long have you been doing body work yourself? I've been doing it since I was 14, so for probably about 24 years. Wow. Yeah, so you know a thing or two. I've been around the block once or twice. <laughs> so. so it's interesting your company does rust repair, because I know a lot of, you know, I'm from Michigan and we have the same weather and uh, same salt, basically. And Sure. We all have rusty vehicles up here, especially Ohio, same thing. I know a lot of body shops, just, they don't encourage body work at their businesses for rust. Repair. Well, a lot of places they like to just unbolt and bolt on. It's a lot of technical skill to be able to weld on a panel and actually have it last. Um, no one can obviously uh, warranty rust repair forever, but you know we've been doing this for years and years. We've got some skilled employees here. We know how to weld. We know how to protect both the outside that you see and the inside because 90% of your rust comes from the inside out. And that's where you need to do all the protections on the inside to keep that as a long lasting repair. Cab corners, rockers. Yes. Oh. This door is about the same shape as the other side. So I'd say that we could probably save this door also. And our extended cab doors. Thanks. We'll be, uh, we'll of course be tuning up the hinges and the latches to make those all work good. This guy's a little rough, but I think we can save that door too. What kind of tools will we be using for the job? Well, we got a lot of specialty body hammers and dollies for doing some of the metal work. Spoons, metal finishing pile. Let's see what else you got in here. Got buffers for doing the final, uh, final polishing and end product appearance. These are a very nice tool. These are for removing the plastic Christmas tree clips and trim clips for getting body panels off so you don't break them. This is a new pair that just came out. These things work awesome. When we do frame repair, these are a lot of the specialty fixtures that we use for, for clamping onto the frame holding. If you got, let's say you got a box side that's caved in, we got a couple of these. These hook into the wheel wall. We can pull the wheel wall back out straight. Slide hammers, different pulling fixtures. 
right here is a pretty neat tool. It's a stud gun. You got a dent in a panel. You put one of these nails in there and it'll actually spot weld the nail on so then you can use a side hammer to pull the dent out without having to drill a hole in the panel. This tool is real nice. If you got a whole bunch of dents or a really long dent on a panel, you can uh, take the uh, paint away so you get down to bare metal. You'll actually... You actually ground this right here. You take this guy, you hit the momentary button and it'll weld this rod and you can sit and pull the dent out and keep working down. Keep welding, pull, twist, weld, pull, twist. And that saves on nails. It's a really nice, fast tool. And I'm so excited about this truck here. I, you know, I'm excited about the Wife Max build as well that we've built at Ryan and Mark's shop there. But uh, this is a really big deal. I mean, we paid thousand dollars for the Duramax, and I told you guys in the beginning of the video or the the last video that I posted that we're gonna essentially make this truck brand new again and give it a life because realistically, the only thing worth anything on this truck, I personally think, is maybe the rear end and the engine and the trans. Um, but the rest of this truck, really, most people would just take to the scrap yard. And not only that, I'm really excited because it's a GMC Sierra. I've never had a build like that on the channel, so I think that's really cool. And guys like Robert here that own a, uh, a local, local businesses, basically, uh, that are willing to you know, help us out on this build, it's just such a tremendous thing, and I do appreciate that. Again, make sure you guys check out Robert, SNS Automotive. I will leave all the information in the description below. It's definitely worth the drive coming to this small family-owned business, seriously. So again, I'll leave all the information Dude, seriously, like, I'm like speechless. I don't even know what to say. How many hours do you think you're gonna have into this truck? I'm, we're talking cab and box, um, in front fenders. <laughs> yeah. You're probably gonna be so busy with this truck. Yeah, it'll probably be about 80, 90 hours, something like that. Yeah. With good solid work. Okay. Easily. And I, I can only imagine how much it's gonna cost for, uh, for someone to you know pay out of pocket for that. So, definitely cool. So, guys, again, Thank you so much for your time. If you guys are first stopping in and you want to continue to follow the content, make sure you hit that subscribe button. It's so important. You guys cannot miss a beat. Seriously, make sure you hit that notification bell. Every time I post a video and you guys get a notification, watch it, man. Thank you guys so much for your support. And again, can't thank you enough, Robert. Anytime. We'll see you guys on the next video. Stay tuned.